Welcome to this How To Scan For Surgical Guide series, where we will explain how to scan for a particular case. In this video, we will show you how to scan a patient with missing second premolar and both molars. In this case, the patient is missing the second premolar and molars in the lower jaw, so it's a free end case. With a simple tooth supported guide, the plasticity of the material would give us an unwanted movement at the posterior end. This means we have to use the crest for support and create a tooth tissue supported guide. The scan strategy for this case is similar to a single implant case. However, we need to scan the full mouth to be able to retain the guide due to the abscess of the posterior teeth. Start your scan from the occlusal on the most posterior tooth following the official scan strategy. Remember to wiggle as you scan the incisors. When turning lingual, try to go as deep as possible, using the tip to push the tongue aside. If possible, with a 70 to 80 degree angle, so that the scanner can grab images of the whole crest. Turn to the buccal side, covering the area behind the molar, the retromolar area, in case we need the support for the guide. On the buccal side, also try to go as deep as possible, with a 70 to 80 degrees angle, to cover the soft tissue. For toothless areas, scan as much of the soft tissue as possible, because the guide will later rest directly on the crest and get support from it. We now have the proper height to use for our design of the guide, as well as a good understanding of the remaining teeth and soft tissue in the toothless area. You have now learned how to scan a patient with missing second premolar and both molars. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.